Okay, so we're checking uh, checking the AC uh, pressure on this 2016 Chevy Volt. Um, the high pressure port is very accessible right there on top. But the low pressure port is down there. You can see that down there. You need to remove this tube here uh, from there to there to get to it. Very easy to remove them, but you need to remove that tube to get to the low pressure port. And right now, without the AC on, we're showing um, 45 pounds on the low side and 140 on the high side. So now we're going to turn on the AC full blast and everything to see what the pressures really are while it's running. Okay, so now we see what's on. It's dropping down to 30. So I'm going to keep an eye on this and uh, high pressure down is down to uh, 125. The pressures that I'm looking for really are maybe 50 on the low side and up to 200 on the high side. And right now it's blowing cool air. It's not cold by any means. It's cool. It's not blowing any warm air but it should be higher uh, pressure than this so I'm going to add some uh, let's see if I can get the pressure just a little bit higher air temperature of 82 however this is only going at 72 degrees um, nowhere what it should be and it's not blowing in okay so I hooked up the can of my refrigerant Got that. I'm going to open up the low side to interject it in here. I see the high pressure coming up a little bit. I got the high pressure going up to like um, 170. And the low pressure is going back to a little above 30, but I got the higher pressure up now. I'm gonna shut off the low pressure. Okay. And I'm going to take the temperature of the AC inside the car. Okay, so now there's a big difference, big difference here. So we have 82 degrees ambient temperature. And right now I'm getting um, like 40, big difference. Before I was only getting like, it was cool, like uh, maybe 65 to 70 degrees. It was cool, it was not warm, and I did not see my compressor cycling. Uh, which mean um, the level, the cooling level was extremely low at that time. But now um, it is working perfectly. Again, this is a four year old car, so I don't think I have it leak anywhere. If it is, it's very extremely slow. 
But again, this had a recharged uh, EV car. Again, this the compressor is not a uh, ran by any belt from the engine. It's an, an, it's an electronic compressor. 